Hi, students. I want to talk to us, talk to you today about our first major essay. You know, you had a diagnostic essay, and I've given you feedback on that. Some of you have made some corrections, and we do have a revision um, assignment, which is really about getting it put into an M into a Word document and MLA format. Um, but this is our first major essay, which does have to be MLA formatted and in a Word document or PDF. Um, so I wanna make sure you know how to do that. And there's points for that with the diagnostic essay and anything I uh, asked you to, to, to um, work on to make better for the, the revision. But the revision is, is mostly about, hey, did you watch the videos? And I need to know that you know how to format it in MLA and uh, put it in a document and uh, uh, submit it as an attached file. For all of our major essays, and we have four, and that's a minimum that's required for this to have a college, not only a college course credit, three credit hour composition class, but for it to transfer. Um, to transfer to another, not just another community college, but to the uh, universities in our state and around. Um, so there's a requirement of four, four major essays that are approximately a thousand words in length. We use a basic academic essay uh, structure for five paragraphs and uh, we are writing analysis essays we're not just simply retelling which is plot summary retelling um, what was said in the poem or the play or the story that's grade school level we are analyzing okay we use the writing process this is very important we we um you find out what the topic focus is from me um, i will give you a basic outline for the organization like i did with the diagnostic essay hey in the first main body paragraph this is what you know frame it up in here and then and i go over it <clears throat> then i check that you do it you turn it in i check it and then if, if there's no corrections to be made uh you move on to your rough draft if there are corrections you make the corrections you don't resubmit uh, but you make those corrections you can reach out to me if you don't understand um the feedback and then you write your rough draft. And that gives me a second uh, opportunity to take a look. So we come up with our ideas. Okay, if we see what the topic focus is, it's going to be related to uh, the story, theme, poems that you've been assigned. So it's not like you're coming up from anything from scratch. We've been studying those. You've had some videos to help you understand them. And then from that, we're organizing some ideas for you to write about there, okay, based on that study. Um, <clears throat> conflict analysis, anything we've learned more about the theme, this time focus of identity. You do a rough draft, which is, you know, should be best you have so far, but it doesn't have to be finished. Just three good paragraphs. We'll talk about more that step uh, next week. Then you'll get feedback on that. Then you uh, have one more shot, you know, like, okay, now you've you got to finish it up. We'll use Criterion. I'll talk about it um, very soon. And then you submit for the final major essay grade. Pretty much at that point, final revised draft, which is what, like step four or five here in our process, that's the that's the finished one. That's the one that gets the big grade that counts so much. And there's really not like redoing of that. I, I may, out of one out of four, if someone just really missed the boat on it, may give somebody one redo chance on one major essay that they failed. Um, but that's just not, it's by then you should have made all the corrections that you've been uh, advised to make. And that's the one that gets the greatest. Kind of like if you think I, I like to use uh, sports analogies, you know, once the game clock is ended, there isn't any redoing that game. You learn from it and you take those lessons you learn to the next assignment, the next essay. And that's really how this is set up is a coaching. You, you are working on this in stages and I'm checking in and coaching you on that. Of course, you get points for doing that. A part of it just like you get when you come to practice right that counts but it's the game we're getting ready for all right here's our description essay one students are going to write and again we'll take it in steps but when we finish the finished product will be an mla formatted five paragraph analysis essay approximately a thousand words in length and i don't want 1300 i don't want 1500 but you're going to have to have at least 750 words to get a passing grade okay shooting for a thousand eight hundred nine hundred right in there and we're going to focus on the theme of identity now that's a broad topic and there's specific 
ideas and messages and thoughts about identity in each story, each poem and whatever. Okay, so we had, we looked at these stories, um, the story specifically everyday use, uh, the poems that I signed and went over in video like by Langston Hughes and Ashley Jones in this folder, and a little snippet, just a little snippet of the end of A Doll's House, that play where Nora is kind of having this moment where she realizes she doesn't really know who she is, uh, and she has to learn, learn that. Her identity has been formed by the dominant males in her life, her first her father and then her husband, and it has creates problems. Well, you have to use at least two of the text. You can't just write it about it, write about the theme of identity in only one of these. And you can actually use more and you can kind of focus that in. Let me give you a couple ways. Let's take a look at the organization. So this is the main model, but there are some tweak variations. If you want to do more than two selections, you could omit the uh, selection one and you could say, hey, how is the theme of identity, identity presented in? And then you're telling me here in the blank, it could be just everyday use, right? And then the second one could be, well, how's the theme of identity presented in a um, particular poem by Ashley Jones, right? You give the title, identify that. And then I want to know how's that in that body, how is the theme tied to the conflict? Because they are. And I want to make sure you understand how those are connected. But I want to know what that story, poem, or play, uh, idea, and concept about identity. If you've watched the videos, you know what I'm what I'm talking about here. If you haven't, you need to go back and watch them um, <clears throat> or watch them again because they have different ways that our, our identity is formed. For example, in everyday use, how the women in there connected their identity to their heritage, but they formed it in a different way. Or uh, D, you know, identified differently um, and saw her heritage differently. She identified more with the new and modern. Um, Maggie and Mama more with their uh, traditions, right? <clears throat> so there's different messages. Uh, brought about by the different authors in the specific works. So if you see something that's similar and you want to I, I, uh, talk about the theme of identity tied to the past or tied to the future or tied to something you know, specific in there and you want to talk about it in more than one, uh, you can. You could say, how is the theme of, of um, ethnic identity or gender identity? Because that's whether, you know, how it means to be a woman or your female body or national identity or some of these ones presented in, say, Langston Hughes' poem I2 uh, and in, you know, everyday use. If you want to do that, that's fine, but uh, don't make, you know, keep it, keep it kind of focused so that you're in that range for the body paragraphs, all right? So we always start with that. We get our, what's called our magic three, and I, I, I define what I want you to focus on in general, and then you let me know through the outline what you specifically decided on. Okay, the body, third body paragraph, and you'll see this in um, a couple of our things. I want a personal connection. I really want to make sure you are writing this from your own uh, heart, you know, and your own uh, in, uh, connection. So out of the identity, you know, the texts that we have, the selections and the messages that you perceive from that with the help of the uh, videos, which one do you connect with the most? And tell me which one and how you connect to it and why, right? So this is just the rough part of the outline. The uh, actual outline assignment has much more details, okay? And uh, it tells us a little bit more. So this is the overview of the whole essay that the draft is gonna have to have a certain length, it has to have a citation, and um, da, da 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 This is the overview, not this week's assignment, okay? So let's take a look at that. <clears throat> There's the outline assignment, and you can see that it has, uh, some more specifics, okay? Right. So it gives the overview again, and then it says for your outline, you follow the outline template, but do not write paragraphs. An outline is like a blueprint for the house. It's not the house itself, right? It's just the plan, okay? It tells me that you've assembled all of your, let me use the house analogy, all of your, uh, pieces for construction, your materials, and you have a, but better than that, you have a plan for how they're going to be put together. Okay, so don't write me paragraphs. Um, for the introduction, I don't even need to know what your hook is. I just need you to fill in letter B, what selections. And if it's more than two, that's fine too. Uh, the, at least the names of the selections that you're going to be writing about in here, we don't need all of them. We need to list at least two. And then a thesis statement. Now, 
right now, starting in that order, you wouldn't have one. But once you decide what body paragraph one, two, and three are, then you can write a one, this is very important, a thesis statement, not a thesis paragraph, a thesis statement, a one sentence version of those ideas that are in body paragraph one, two, and three. Okay? One, two, and three kind of in, in one sentence. Uh, body paragraph one, fill in the blanks here, do short answer to the question. Um, and again, if it's not selection one, if it's not just one, if you have more, then just say the, uh, the body paragraph one, uh, Roman numeral two here would be something, it's either going to be the name of everyday use, or it's going to be uh, maybe heritage identity, and then you have, you know, two different ones. So there's some flexibility as long as the focus is clear and you follow the directions here, okay? As long as you're following directions, there you're going to get a good grade with some feedback, okay? Some people get don't don't really uh, understand the grading process here. It's like I'm giving you an, an, a, a quick assessment at the end of practice. Good job, uh, keep it up, or work on this technique. If your free throw percentage isn't quite where it needs to be, you know, tuck in your elbow a little bit more, work on your stance. If you don't respond, if you only respond to, hey, I did pretty good, and you don't respond to work on your technique, you're not going to show any improvement. And those those uh, areas of deficiency are going to be magnified later. So I, I'm pretty lenient on grading the parts in the process as long as you're following directions. Um, but I'm it's really about uh, making sure you're doing the work and mostly about getting my feedback on what you need to adjust if that's really not a thesis statement, if it's too vague, if, you know, um, and how you might tighten that up so that when you continue to work on it, you're headed in the right direction. I have one of the uh, citations here at the bottom for everyday use. Uh, I have, I went ahead and, and put together all the citations for this first one. I'm going to be teaching you how to create these citations um, on your own, but let me show you in case you missed it. All right. You're not going to be able to write this paper too well without plagiarizing if you don't go through here, watch, uh, you know, read these, watch the videos about them, and um, <clears throat> but then go all the way to the bottom. So I have the citations for all of the other ones because I already included everyday use where I just showed you in the outline. And so whichever one you decide to use. Now the, the dashes are because it's Langston Hughes again. If you use him here and not in I2, then you need to fill in his name, okay, in place of that same for Ashley Jones uh, right here, okay. So I've provided you with um, really all of the information and content you need, the instruction, the explanation, to get you started thinking about those for you to be able to come in and write and do the outline. That is due by Wednesday, February 1st for us in uh, 2023 here in the spring. Uh, here's the diagnostic revision. Okay, copy paste your essay into a Microsoft Word document or PDF file, format it following format guidelines. Uh, make sure that you brought it up, you know, to five paragraphs, at least 500 words. And, and there should be at least two things I've asked you to make better, okay? And then make sure you describe them in the submission box. So uh, in the submission box, you'll see how to do a file. That's what you attach is the file, but you can also type text in there. So what if you're new? You sh you, I, I would hope you're not new. Let's just say it that way. I would hope you're not new to MLA and doing the files uh, coming in a 102 class as opposed to 101, but I have a video here in case somehow you don't um, remember how to do it or, or, or taught, okay, because you got to know. Um, there's a video there. You can, if it doesn't cover the stuff, um, like if you're with a Mac or something, just Google how to MLA format my document in, um, in a Mac, you know. Uh, there's some information here about how the writing process works, if that's new to you, about outlining in general, if that's uh, new to you, um, here's, an, here's you know, some examples of some how to develop uh, the different pieces and components like an introduction, a body paragraph, and so forth that are there. So those are really just as needed, okay, but you will need them. I had it somewhere in here. Let's see. Last thing, because I'm almost out of time, about the, the documents. Google documents need to be converted to .docx or PDF for submission. All right, that's it for now. Make sure 
uh, you follow those instructions and I'll take a look and see.